Latkes are a traditional Hanukkah fritter, and typically they're made with potatoes, but this year I'm putting a twist on them and making them with Brussels sprouts. Oh, I'm so excited about them. I'll use four egg whites, and I'm only using the egg whites because they make the latkes extra light and crispy. A squeeze of lemon juice will brighten up the Brussels sprout flavor. And I'll whisk this to combine, and then I will add my Brussels sprouts. Now, Brussels sprouts, you can either buy shredded or shred them in a food processor or even by hand. And it's important to get them nice and finely shredded so that they cook when they're in the pan. Okay, and for added flavor, I'm gonna chop up an onion and some garlic to go into my mixture. I wanna make sure that I'm adding some bold flavors so that they come through against that fried crust. I'll toss this mixture together and get it evenly coated with the egg whites. Next, I'll add my dry ingredients, all-purpose flour, and this will help thicken up these latkes and bind them all together. Some salt to season it, black pepper, and just a touch of heat with some crushed red pepper. Yum. And now I'll mix this to combine and then we'll be ready to fry. I'm gonna get a nice healthy layer of oil into my frying pan. And then I'm gonna get this hot at medium high. Okay, I'm gonna check to see if the oil's hot enough by dropping in a strand of Brussels sprout and seeing if it sizzles. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That oil is hot, the Brussels sprout is sizzling. I'm ready to fry my latkes. And I'll drop in scoops of the mixture, allowing about an inch of space in between them. And I'm gonna use my spatula to pack it together so that it all sticks. And if any pieces start to come apart, you can just use a spatula to help it back together. I can smell the crispy shell forming. I'll pan fry them for about two minutes on each side until they're golden and crispy. I'm gonna flip this one. Oh my gosh, that one looks so good. And then I'll transfer them to my rack over a pan and that's gonna keep them crispy. These are gonna be so good. And because I'm not serving these for a little while, I'm gonna keep them warm in my oven. And now these are gonna be great by themselves, but what's gonna bring them over the edge is my balsamic Dijon sour cream. Simply combine sour cream, Dijon mustard, honey, and balsamic vinegar. 